Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and the new iOS 26.2 is coming along pretty good. A very nice update, a lot of new features and changes and it will be released actually very, very soon. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 awesome new features that are coming to your device with the new iOS 26.2. Now, before we get into all that and talk all about these features, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It will really help the channel a lot. Starting off with the Reminders app. As you probably know with iOS 26.2, the Reminders app now brings also alarms. So you can basically set alarms for your reminders, which is really awesome, but also a very, very useful feature that a lot of users have been requesting. But here's another thing that you can do with these alarms on iOS 26.2. So whenever you get the alarm, as you can see right here, you will now have a snooze button. That's a pretty cool new feature. So you tap right there and it will snooze the alarm, which is pretty cool. And it will snooze it for about 10 minutes or nine minutes, I believe. So that's really, really awesome. So in nine minutes, you will also get reminded again about that alarm. But here's another really useful feature. It is called stay reminded. What that means is that once you snooze the alarm, it won't actually just go away and just remind you after nine minutes, it will stay right here on the dynamic island as a live activity. That's another huge new feature for reminders on iOS 26.2, which again makes this update really, really great. Now another feature on the reminders app that has also to do with this new alarm feature is right here under settings. Now, when you go to the settings, you go to apps and you go under reminders, you can see we have the alarms here. We can enable and disable them. But if we go down here, you will find something called complete from alarms. So if you have this enabled and you get the alarm for your reminder, when you actually tap on it, it won't snooze the reminder and as you saw the first one it would snooze it for nine minutes now with this enabled instead of snooze it will display a complete button so you're basically completing your reminder directly from the alarm without having to go back to the reminder so if you just want to do that and not have the snooze option then go to settings go under apps go to reminders and from here you can go ahead and enable it now with iOS 26.2, we also have a ton of new features for the podcast app. It is really amazing the amount of features Apple is actually putting within apps. It's really cool. Now with podcasts, you know, we got chapters, but we also got something called mentions and links also. So basically when you're listening to a podcast, if in that podcast is a mention of another podcast, it will actually show it right here. So you can go to that other podcast, which is pretty cool. Also, if there's a mention, let's say of a music album, it will actually display you right here, the link to that music album on Apple Music or maybe a book or whatever that is. So you get basically mentions for other podcasts and links to things like, as I said, books and music right here on the podcast player. Moving on to the password settings with iOS 26.2, when you go to your settings and you go under passwords, right here you will find something called show excluded websites. So, you know, when you go to a website and you enter your details, it will show you a pop up right here to autofill it and also create passwords for that website. Well, if you have websites that you have excluded from that, so you didn't use that feature, they will be shown right here on this list once you tap here. Now, what you can do is, of course, go ahead there and remove any website you want. So if you have previously just not wanted to use the passwords feature on the website, it shows here. When you remove it, it will show it back. So but when you go back to that website, you will still be able to use that feature again. On the games app, we have a ton of new features as well, especially when you go to the library section right here. Now we have talked right here about filters. You basically have the library right here, which allows you to just, just browse your games and could like sort them, filter them all kinds of ways. And one that I really like is right here, controller support. Now, when you go to your games, 
you can view which games have controller support and that will be very easy again you go right here just tap on controller support and all the games that support controllers will be shown right here there's an update on the news app as well now we're talking about this section right here as you can see the bottom bar has been redesigned with ios 26.2 now what else is new is also the search bar right here so if you tap on the search bar you will have right here new search bar and also a different categories of news where you can go and browse from here so if we tap here we can go to different the like sports and then right here you can go to different sports of course select whichever sports you want right there at the top as you can see we have all sports or just select anything you want so basically we have a new search section and a new button bar on ios 26.2 with the news app moving on to the music app so let's go here to playlist so there we have a playlist that i have created and as you can see right here we have a small album art right there at the top that's because i don't use apple music but if you use apple music this album art now will show on full screen so basically from here and up all the screen will be the album art of your playlist so now with the apple music app on ios 26.2 you will get full screen album arts for user created playlists moving on to the freeform app if you use the freeform app which is an app from apple then you will get a new feature which is really awesome you can now finally add tables so you can see right here we can add a table of course you will have all the options here to customize it make it bigger or smaller so basically anything you need here with tables a new pretty cool feature and very useful for everyone that does use it so finally we got the tables again you can customize them move around add rows columns and all that stuff just like you would do normally with these kind of apps and last but not least if you use carplay then you will get widget stacks on your car with ios 26.2 this was a feature on iOS 26, but it has been removed and now Apple has brought it back. So basically, once you have updated to iOS 26.2, you will not also get widget stacks for your car play. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 10 cool new features and changes that are coming to your device very soon with iOS 26.2. In my opinion, this update should be out on December the 8th. So we're getting very, very close to that release. And it is amazing. A lot of new features and changes that will make your device even better. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.